On today's show, it's our last day at CES 2015, and we've got two more favorites to tell you about. New virtual reality tech that actually lets you run into battle, or run away from battle if you're me. And LG has a flexible television that goes from flat to curved, and it is looking real good, just like us. Ah, oh, yes. It's tomorrow daily. Welcome, I know, hi, hi back there. Hi, people that are blurry back there. Not paying attention to us. Welcome <laughs> to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Esqueda. Join me as always, the man, the myth, the legend, the, the VR enthusiast. I'm still kicking. And day still three, we're still, we're still excited to Kale be here. Anonymous. Yep. Kale yeah, Anonymous. Kale Anonymous here with me. It's good. Uh, yeah. um, my voice will be gone by tomorrow, so this will be the last show that Your, we do any here. Any final words? <laughs> any final words? Um, Maybe about our sponsors? Yeah, we should talk about that. <laughs> So our uh, LG was kind enough, they're sponsoring the show this week, they were kind enough to let us borrow the LG G Flex, and kale has been carrying it around, and uh, you, you yeah. were telling me of a very interesting I don't know feature. I not to do that, but yeah, no, uh, it's, it's incredibly durable, it's self-healing, they're saying, you, so you can kind of like, if you put it in your pocket with like your keys and stuff like that, it won't get all scratched mm, up. I like that. Look at that, see? And also not I know that I it can like... It yeah, it can, hold on, watch camera, follow me. Follow down, follow Sorry. down to the table, Sorry. Smack, squish Sorry, it. Can you can literally squish, squish it. it. Yeah, do CPR your on it and it's fine. Breathe, so there you go. breathe. Oh no, it's really cool. So thank you to LG. Yeah. Uh, you can check out. We have some. We have a first look for it over on CNET, uh, and you you can enjoy that and learn all about the LG G Flex. And thanks again to LG, our sponsor for this week. We really thank do you, appreciate. LG. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate and I, it. I got to carry around a G3, which was also very cool. Uh, but enough of that. We have some fantastic tech to talk to you about. So we're gonna hit the headlines. Uh, so again, day three for us out on the show floor. Uh, for me. The one thing that I saw that I thought was kind of cool and mm -hmm. also looked mm -hmm. a little bit like Jordi LaForge from Star Trek okay. is the uh, Avagant Glyph. The Avagant Glyph. I like so the we have some already. video of this. Check this out. So it looks like a pair of headphones, right? Right. But it's actually, you can watch movies with it. It's oh, got, man. look, there's your eyepieces, just like those viewfinders Joy you had when you were a so kid. Yeah. It's like that. Great. So that's the, that's the working prototype, but the, the looks like actual. wearing it wrong. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's like, it just looks like you put your headphones on yeah. weird. Um, but it's really cool because you can plug it into any HDMI. And I really, really like that. It's, it's really, really neat. You can, you can do all, you can watch it with anything that has HDMI out. So, and even like iPhone. So if you have the adapter, you can just plug it right into the headset. It's pretty cool. cool. You don't it looks have to really see annoying plane. real, real life. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I you like don't have that. to see nice. annoying real life as, cool. as, as, as we say. So what are, uh, what have you seen around the show floor that has been so interesting to you? <laughs> Going with my sort, sort of like party theme that I've had uh, every single one. I had the, the, the Pong, beer Pong, beer pong? robot. Mm -hmm. I picked the Pico Brew, which okay. is a beer, like a home brewing beer automated system where it's basically you just put all this stuff in there and you just hit a button and it like brews you up some beer. It's and like you a can beer like curate. name it yourself. Yeah, you are now your own uh, beer, beer brewer. Beer and it's, masters. It's, it's, very, it's very simple. They're saying you just toss a bunch of stuff in there. It comes with this little keg and you put in the water, you put in the, you know, every, all those little ingredients and then hit brew. And then you go, you know, not party, and then you come back and you party. It's uh, it's two thousand dollars, which is which is pretty steep Pricey. unless you're gonna like That's start a, a business little yeah, or something. Yeah, unless you're gonna start your own brew microbrewery. But it, it was a Kickstarter project, okay, which is always it's always it always you know like has a little bit more heart. It's we Kickstarter like the project, funds. and it's apparently the Kickstarter that is the second most funded food Kickstarter. So there you go. All Congrats, right, cool. Pico pretty Brew. Cool. You don't have to um, clap for that. You also told me that we're aside from our second story uh you also kind of like have been able to see the show floor a lot more than i have yeah so um you told me about we we're big virtual reality fans oh, here yeah, on tomorrow daily reality. we love virtual reality so you got to check out a product that i think it has a lot of potential yep i would you know virtual reality you know is getting better and better in the headset but how can we get more involved with it yeah well why don't why don't i have someone who's the only person that's better at video games than me me let's check you. it out yeah <laughs> Thanks, me. Now look, virtual reality is a big thing this year, but how do we step it up? Well, by actually taking steps in virtual reality. So the, check this out. This is the Omni, and believe it or not, it makes it so you can walk in virtual in a virtual reality space using any of the virtual reality headsets that come out. Let's let's see how this thing works. You ready? So now, because I'm a I'm a pro MLG player, I'm not going to miss any shots. All right, here we go. Come on, wall. I don't think so. 
Aim with your head. I don't think so. Oh yeah, headshot, headshot. Got it, got it, got it, easy. So as you can see, you're actually walking. You're not like, you're not gonna sit on the couch. I mean, like the Wii promised a lot, but this is, uh, this is actually getting up, as you can see, never missing a shot. The Omni is using these track pads, the, the track pad, there's trackers on the shoe here that are tracking your movement. And then there's little uh, on the bottom here, it makes it so you can kind of glide along the bottom of the Omni. So there you go, as simple as that. And of course the harness, the harness is just here to hold you in place so you don't run all over your living room and step on the cat and stuff like that. One of the things that I was really impressed with, with is of course you're like, you know, you're running around, you're gonna get a workout. Yeah, you are. They're, they're saying that if you play for an hour, you burn about 400 calories. That's incredible. Cause I, I, that's, that's more than I work out in a, a day and a week and like a year and, and last year too. Oh, there's me running. Oh my God, hurry. So you, they said you can walk, run, and you can even sit. And you can use this with any game that has a, 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 a game pad with their virtual reality on it. So it's pretty much any game. So there you go. That's the Omni by Virtuex. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Again, like I said, $4.99 if you buy it now. So anyway, I gotta hurry back to the booth, so. That guy is going places. I think I should hire him to host the show. I like him. I, like I think him? it's good. Think yeah, it's all right? Yeah. Yeah, it's no, good. but what they were telling me, the, the most interesting thing was, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, indie game devs or whatever yeah. are taking games that we already have, Team Fortress 2, Call of Duty, and putting them in the virtual reality headset yeah, yeah. in certain ways. They were telling me at the booth they were playing Team Fortress 2 all with together. the Omni Ooh. and like, you know, as the pyro doing spins and doing like pyro, like uh, spy checks and stuff like that. Oh, I like it that. It was great. I, I like wish they had lot. let me play Team Fortress 2. Well, we'll ask them later. Okay. Maybe ask after, the, after the show floor closes, we can sneak in and yeah, we can and ask them to all play that. Okay. But it's pretty cheap. It seems pretty cheap. $4.99 is not bad. I thought it would be a lot more expensive for yeah. how big it is. Uh, I didn't know that the gun doesn't come with it. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I'll use my old NES gun. Yeah, It'll work okay. fine. Um, okay, so we have to tell you guys about this really awesome TV that I saw down on the show floor. I went and hung out over at LG, and I'm really skeptical of curved televisions. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, they seem kind of gimmicky to me. It seemed like the 3D of... But then... Hater. I am kind of a hater, hater. on curved TVs, I'll be honest. So, but I saw LG's 77-inch curved to flat television. Uh -huh. It's actually flexible, it moves. So we have some B-roll of this, check this out. It acts like it, it's going from oh, curved to it's flat. It's gonna break, it's gonna break. And it, it, it is the weirdest thing to see in person. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you go by the LG booth and watch this thing in action. It It is so cool. And honestly, it's just one of those weird candy things about technology where yeah. it has zero purpose uh -huh. whatsoever besides maybe like you have some extra people who need better viewing angles in your house. You got to go flat. But man, it just looks really cool. And I just want it for bragging rights. Yeah. And if you can't make up your mind if you want a flat or a curved TV. Switch back like, and forth. You can <laughs> have the best of both worlds. I've got both. Anyway. <laughs> Well, I Buffy, I've got food. both. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. And then we get on our yacht and drink highballs and sail away into the end of the sunset. Uh, on that note, sailing away into the sunset, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with Techno Buffalo's John Rettinger. Uh, we're going to be talking about cars and a little bit of kid tech. And then, of course, your user feedback. So don't click away. It's Tomorrow Daily. <laughs> Tomorrow Daily, once again, the best geek talk show in the known universe. Uh, we are here, we have a guest, somebody that I'm very familiar with. Hello. Uh, John Renger, technobuffalo.com, one of my favorite tech websites besides CNET. We have, we have to pay for that kind of endorsement. <laughs> well, the check, like, check, I, I hope I get my checks soon. Checks in the mail. Um, so you're here with us. Um, how has your show been so far? The show has been incredible, busy. It's like a, it's a complete blur for everybody here. Uh, but it's been fun. It's cool to see the new trends and see CES change kind of year over year. It really right. does every year. It's something new. And it gets bigger. That's the crazy thing. New things come in. I mean, cars replace what Microsoft used to be here, you know, yeah. five, seven years ago. And new trends are, are coming, new technologies, and they're 3D printing food. Yeah, oh, we yeah. talked about that yesterday, love 3D printing the food. Yeah. We love Tech West. That's all the weird stuff that makes us happy. So, okay, we wanted to talk about, I know you love cars. 
a little bit of a car guy. John's a little bit of a car me. guy. So um, you have seen some really cool connected cars at this year's show, so starting with the Mercedes concept car. Ridiculous. So if you guys didn't get a chance to see it, they only had it here for one day. I went back on yeah. day two and was excited to see it. We have some footage of it. And the car had just driven off. <laughs> so <laughs> this thing looks like if you could draw it, it'd be an oval with just wheels uh, at the bottom of it. It's part of their vision for 2030, which is, is coming up uh, not that far away. It's coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. So first, totally autonomous, but not the type of autonomous where it'll like, you know, stop you in traffic and you still have to drive. The kind where the seats actually swivel 360 degrees. You could sit and talk to the person behind you while, while the, the car, car is going. Takes you right so to the car. So minority report. Yeah. <laughs> like Beyond. that. Six screens crazy. all around you. Actually, the screens uh, projecting cameras from outside, so it looks like there's nothing no, there. Nothing there which is weird. That would really weird me out, I think. But also, it when I saw it, I thought to myself, it looks like one of those luxury yachts, but on wheels. And I feel like. I feel like Kayla and I need, just need one. Like, yeah. And it also, I heard it drove itself away. Yeah, which is... Just was like, <laughs> bye, God. bye CES, yeah. and it just drove <laughs> off. So connected cars, let me ask you guys. So let's say connected cars just coming out on the road. You see one, or an autonomous car, rather, and you see it, and you know that car is autonomous. Are you going to maybe just break a little bit in front of it and see what happens? Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, you're like, terrible. I mean, like, let's see how smart the car really is. You're going to test a car out on the road? I mean, I, th I would hope that you would do that like in a test track. Time. I mean, wouldn't that be doing a public service by figuring that out? By trying so to make somebody so crash? You're, you're, yeah, you're yeah. You're teasing the bear, just, whereas I would move completely. I see it coming and I move out of the way, maybe yeah, pull see, over, I would drive off a cliff. all the way off of the yeah, freeway. I'm slathering my hand in honey yeah, and just, yeah. just offering you're it. You're like, please, bear, come to me. Offering it up. That seems risky. Um, okay, so, and then the other car that you uh, mentioned that was of interest was the VW Golf Touch. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that, because I didn't get to see this. Okay, so it looks like a regular Motor Trend Car of the Year winning uh, VW Golf, except totally controlled by touch and gestures, uh, and voice as well. So everything where there'd be an analog knob or even something digital like a touch controller like you see in Cadillac's Q, yeah. it is 100% touch and gestures in your voice. Remember when we tried to set up the new Connect for the Xbox One? It, yes, it I was mean, a nightmare. What could possibly go wrong with talking to your car? Um, <laughs> so, so cool thing. Yeah. It's just like no. speed up. No. Like, what? <laughs> What's that? You wanted to speed up? You wanted to speed? You want to crash through the barrier? Yeah. Great. Let's do that. So like, does it have that feature? Yeah. Sorry, I can't do that, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like crashes right through. So like the touch panels are, are neat. You control things like your uh, air conditioning and stuff. But if you want to roll down your windows, I mean, you make this gesture. You want to pull back your sunroof. You kind of push back. Wait, you actually have to make this gesture? We're going back to doing this yeah, now? We, All right, fair enough. What if you just went like this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just. All right. So, I mean, the, the idea is that you can keep your eyes forward and not have it to look for strike points to change a radio station or anything like that. And the, also the hope is probably you don't have a passenger in the car to realize how silly you're looking. Yeah. You know, <laughs> cranking your... Uh, <laughs> Cranking your car. You gotta get the other side yeah. going. Yeah. Too. It's like you turn on some music. Well, I guess you do <laughs> this, get a dance yeah, party going. Up. What like, am I doing? Roll with down my windows. Life? <laughs> like, well, how ridiculous is everyone gonna look when we're in these cars? And you're like, okay, so I'm in my convertible. I gotta roll down the windows and put the top back. And you're like this. Like it looks like the cra and everyone's like, what's with the crazy person inside that convertible? It was like when people first got Bluetooth headsets, you couldn't tell if they were just crazy or talking to somebody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Turns out they're both. <laughs> yeah, what do you know? So, uh, and then also, you're a, uh, a relatively new dad. I am a real and a proud, proud new dad. Very adorable baby. Thank um, you. Congrats. He's super cute. Yeah, I'll give it up for give yeah, it up for Nate, he, man. He's give it up for babies. Give it up for babies. All right. He's kept this kid alive for over a year, so my that's, my that's wife, a win. I give her credit, despite yeah. my best efforts. Very good. Um, so you were talking to me about a, a product that you felt was actually really underserved and un undercovered here at the show. Um, and there are a lot of parents out there that watch, not necessarily tomorrow, daily, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know who our main demographic is, guys. I'm not really Dads. sure yet. Dads. <laughs> um, but you mentioned something that I thought was really fascinating, which is Kid Case. So Kid Case is, it's like parental controls? Full parental controls for uh, for the iPad Mini it's launching with. So a lot of stuff here, like the OLED TVs and connected cars, get all the the top stories. Yeah. There's a lot of really cool tech that sort of flies under the radar. So what this does, I have older nieces uh, and nephews. You put this thing on your iPad Mini, okay. and you can control how long the kid is using it for. It's like, listen, you did your homework. You get an hour and a half of iPad time, then it shuts down. Oh man! 
just shuts off. It just shuts off. They've worked with Apple to make sure it's completely compatible, it's licensed, it will shut off. You can reward your kid with more time. Let's say, you know, they want to help make dinner, clean up the kitchen, get another 45 minutes on the iPad. Interesting. And is it controlled by like your app, like uh, maybe on your phone, or how do you parents, control it? Parents control it through the iPad. Interesting. And they're working on a suite of apps that'll automatically integrate as well. So learning apps, if you do, you know, Same. maybe- Only like games that are rot your brain, you only get 10 minutes. Yeah. But you get a half hour if you do educational stuff. And it'll unlock, cool. it'll unlock more time, which is really, really kind of cool. Uh, it should be launching somewhere in Q2, Q3-ish, and then okay. for the iPad Airline a little later on. I saw it, I was like, this is useful. This is something I think every parent can relate to. And you put them in front of a TV or a tablet in the job and she just goes. And also, <laughs> you know, it'd be useful for me, for me when we start doing the show and like Kill's on his iPad and then I'm yeah. like, Kill, you only get 10 more minutes. We got to shut this down. We got to get a show going here. Yeah, I hate this tech. I know, this he's terrible. like, I don't like I don't this like at all. This at we'll all. definitely get one for the stage. Well, um, thank you so much. Uh, we are gonna, we're going to keep going and do our user sure. feedback. But tell everybody before we get into that how we can find Techno Buffalo and you on the internet. Sure. So you can find us at technobuffalo.com or youtube.com uh, slash technobuffalo, where we're there talking about tech and just loving every day of it. Yeah, and they just got a brand new studio, so you definitely want to check out their videos. They're, they look great. You guys are always so much fun. Thank you. Thanks and, for us. And, and full disclosure, I used to work for this guy. And he was, with me, with me. He was, okay, with, with. See, he's he's team player. John's team player. But I used to work with this guy, and it, I mean, really great. Really great site. Everybody works there. Just fantastic. Thank you. Except for Ralph, who's terrible. <laughs> I see you, Ralph. Yeah. All right. Um, so thank you so much. Uh, all right. So now we have to get user feedback. We've got a lot of really good stuff. We asked our, our viewers to send us the hashtag TDWTF to tell us what their oh, favorite kind of really weird stuff was around CES. Because there was, there was a lot of it. That was a, mis that was a mistake. I think it was great because right. Pavel, Pavel told us the Mellow Mind headset so you can hear your brain waves as music through Bluetooth. Weird stuff, but interesting. Oh, wow. So yeah, you can hear your, your brain waves as music through Bluetooth with the Mellow Mind headset. It's really interesting. Huh. And then um, we had a couple people send this, Andrian, and then Rick wrote this tweet. He said, the Belfi stick is the weirdest yes. tech in history. If you, haven't, if you haven't seen the Belfi stick, it is a butt selfie Belfie. stick uh, to help you take the perfect butt selfie, which is just... We have uh, seen that have been trying to take the perfect butt selfie for a long time. I know yeah. a lot of the editors have been sitting back there ever challenge. since they found it, trying to figure it out. It's a true challenge. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're good. We Don't get me wrong, we're good. But. I've learned a lot from Brian Tong. I've learned a lot yeah, about Brian it from Tong. Brian Tong. Yeah. He's, his, a, he's his, the master, His really. butt Instagram is amazing. So. Pretty good. And then, uh, and then we also asked our viewers to Photoshop us this week. And we had them Photoshop us as, a greyhound, as greyhounds. We have uh -huh. them Photoshop us as Velociraptors. Yes. And yesterday we asked with Trisha Hirschberger from SourceFed to, photo to Photoshop us as capuchin monkeys. And here we go. <laughs> this is the image right here. Oh God, here you go, terrible. guys. Hiram says, here you go, with a big smiley oh face. And, uh, and you really made that work. I always like that we they leave. We look so unhappy. I, they always, I always like that they leave my hair in. Like they always some manage to find a way to leave my hair in. So here's your Photoshop challenge today, guys. In honor of John's adorable, squishy dog, Lucy, who is a French bulldog, you, are, you guys are gonna Photoshop us as French bulldogs. Please. He's, he's ba look at, look at, let's get, the, let's get this main shot right here, right here. Tell, tell, tell everyone on the internet how much you want that. Please Photoshop me as a little fart monster French bulldog. She would love it, we'll put it up, we'll put it up in the office and we'll give full credit. Full credit. Okay, so we have to take the we have to take our main camera here. So we're all three of us, and we have to make a pose. So you have to do a little pose. Okay. I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Two seconds. Okay. We're gonna get a frame on that. We'll make sure so that, that everyone's able to yeah. Photoshop that in. Feel free to go nuts, internet. And uh, your hashtag of the day today is hashtag TDCES cars, and we want you to tell us. What kind of tech do you want your next car to have? It, do you want to roll down your windows with a gesture? Do you want to? Uh, do you want to just talk at your car? Do you want? To, what is it that you need in your next car? What are you looking forward to? Tell us, and we'll talk about it on Monday show. We'll be back in the studio in Los Angeles. Um, that is it for us here at Tomorrow Daily. For can, all of the yes. Give a shout out to producer Logan, who usually produces the show. We Thank are you give so. A he's not shout here. Out. He's he's back at home. Producer but that's, Logan, we love you, we love you. so much. All right. 
Well, and you, he works really say. hard, and we're excited to yep. get back to LA and, and see him again. So that is it for the show. If you guys want to email us, you can email us tomorrow at CNET.com. We're always around. You can find us on social media. We're at Tomorrow Daily on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all the places. Uh, Kale, you're over at Kale Anonymous on yeah, Twitter. Kale Anonymous. And I want to thank everyone for watching. Uh, if you've watched any of the other days yeah. of Tomorrow Daily, and thanks to everyone out here, all especially of you. people that have been to all three shows. So you're thank you guys. Go ahead and give yourself yeah, a hand. You guys. Awesome. It's been so much fun at Super CES. Super good. Super I love good. It. I, I've, I truly enjoyed this. And um, and every year before this, I've, I've always stopped by the CNET stage and I'm like, someday I'm going to be there. And then this year it happened. So and dream, this year's your guys. Last year. And this is my it's last sweet. year. This will yeah. probably die at some point this yep. year. So and next it'll year all it's end. just going to all be a butt selfie step. Butt selfies everywhere. So get ready. Yeah. 2016. So that's it for the show, everybody. We will be back on Monday uh, at, at our normal time, which is around 5.30 uh, p.m. Pacific time. But until then, be good humans, and we'll see you next time. Woo! Bye.